Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in B class, I believe, uh, using the Mercedes uh, 300SL, which is a nice car to drive, but not massively impressive, uh, at least not with this setup. So this video is a little bit shorter than my recent videos, and that's because I've been having really bad connection the past two or three days. Well, fortunately avoided that carnage despite the connection. Um, but yeah, so the way it works here, um, at least with my connection, my particular connection, and this might be a strange foreign concept to people who have nice connections, but um, pretty much if there's forecasted cloud cover in the next three days, um, my internet's going to go to hell. So it's been really bad the last few days because we've had light drizzle at some times. I know the destructive force of light drizzle. So this is pretty much all I've been able to get through uh, racing wise. So I haven't played a lot of Forza recently. Yesterday was absolute rubbish. Uh, the connection, I couldn't even get into a lobby. So that was really, really bad. But back to the race, at least we're going to have a good one going here. Now there's a guy coming up behind very rapidly uh, as we go into the stadium section. I was looking to give him room there and I thought he was bailing out. So the result of that is I kind of shoved him a bit more than I should have. But I did think he was bailing out. Uh, a bit unfortunate there. We managed to secure third place in the meantime though. Although it says third place. Uh, what, what actually happened is, as you can see there, Hayabusa Mark, he's actually invisible in this race. So He's alongside me and just ahead of me. Uh, I'm not too sure what's happening because um, the guy behind him, him and Mike were changing places all the time. I'm not really sure where Mike was, obviously because he was ghosted, but there's no way that throughout this much time uh, the ch places would be changing that rapidly. That would be an awesome situation, but it's just not realistic. So I don't know if he was actually well ahead at this point or if he was alongside. I'm hoping I wasn't able to actually touch him though, because I didn't want to ruin his race, but it looked like I didn't because he did pretty well in the end. Uh, now this RX-7 is, I think it's an RX-7, he's back and he's gotten past, uh, so I've now lost the place and I'm into fourth, even though on track it looks like third. But we've got a battle coming up behind me, I've actually managed to get that breaking point fairly decent, which I'm pretty proud of. Still using no line. It's something I'm trying to get used to. It's I'm not having the hardest time adjusting in some cases, but other cases it is a bit difficult, especially during night races um, and tracks that I don't frequent all that often. Uh, and also when there's a bit of a bit of a battle going on, I tend to break very very late and outbreak myself. It'll come with practice if I intend to practice because. Uh, for me, Forza is just pick up and play. I don't play a lot of it, I don't have a lot of time to play it, so I like to just pick up, play with friends, and see how it goes. Now, the battle behind with Driver IQ is going to go pretty much to the end of the race, so it's going to be a fairly good one. Now, when we started this lobby, it was, yeah, it was carnage filled, so it was quite nice that we were able to remove one or two miscreants and clean things up because it led to good racing like you're going to see here. Now you can see his arrow pretty close to me. Uh, I think he's got slightly more straight line than I do if I recall correctly. Now my lap times compared to uh, first and second place were absolute horse shit. Uh, so <laughs> it wasn't very good. The driving, the driving, I mean it could have been worse but yeah, it wasn't brilliant driving, and I think it would have obviously been quicker with the line since that's what I'm used to. Uh, but now you can see that driver IQ was getting fairly close through that second turn, and second and third place are just out of here, so I mean, that's just not going to happen. Those cars are pretty good, it turns out. Uh, we have pulled out a bit of a gap uh, from driver IQ on the straight here, so maybe I have got a bit more straight line in him. Uh, but I'm going to horribly outbreak myself into this hairpin and pretty much run it on the outside of the track which has allowed him obviously to close up that gap right to being almost on my bumper. So for the rest of the lap I'm feeling fairly confident about the braking points uh, but that is 
confidence is going to be misplaced because I'm going to outbreak myself yet again. Two corners in a row, uh, running it very wide, but fortunately the buffer is big enough that I'm able to stay ahead. So as we come into the stadium section, I'm going to get it on the curve. That's not going to help me. I'm taking a pretty bad line through there. And he's going to get alongside. So we're going to go too wide. I'm just going to kind of bail out of it because it's not ideal. But the result of that is that he's had to take the very inside line. So he couldn't carry so much speed through. So for the sacks curve, I'm going to get right on the inside of him. Managed to maintain or get back fourth place, which I was quite happy about. So nice, clean side-by-side -side driving. You don't often see that in Forza. Um, so coming to the last turn, going to get it right. It's a corner you can get on fire a bit early. But we are going to get fourth place. And yeah, that was a nice battle with myself and him. But this is the straw that broke the camel's back in this session. I'm in fourth place on decent pace and extremely late on the brakes. Straight into the tire walls, straight out of the lobby. And that was pretty much the end of our session. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.